intensity and frequency of the storms are increasing. This year, Americans may breathe a little easier despite the fact that experts believe the cause may be a changing planet. Why not read this report to learn more? According to US official estimates, the Atlantic Basin's 2023 hurricane season will be about average. At least 12 to 17 named tropical storms are expected to form in the area, according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's prediction. It will encompass the Gulf of Mexico, the Atlantic, and the Caribbean Sea. A nearly average Atlantic hurricane season is expected in 2023, according to NOAA. In particular, there is a 40% probability of a season that is close to normal, a 30% risk of an above-normal season, and a 30% chance of a below-normal season. According to NOAA, the season will officially start on June 1st and go until November 30th. But this season is predicted to be less busy than in previous ones. This year's general prognosis calls for a season that will be close to average due to various conflicting variables that will reduce storm formation. The likelihood of El Nino developing this summer is strong, according to experts, following three hurricane seasons under the La Nina weather pattern. The favorable circumstances particular to the tropical Atlantic basin may potentially cancel out El Nino's potential impact on storm generation. According to the National Hurricane Center, 12 to 17 named storms will have maximum winds of at least 39 miles per hour. Five to nine of the storms are expected to intensify into hurricanes. As for the major category, one to four are anticipated to remain. The use of fossil fuels has caused climate change and warm seas, which bring forth the ideal storms. Storms and hurricanes are only going to grow bigger and more frequent, according to experts, as a result of changes in atmospheric patterns brought on by a warming planet. Even though there weren't as many storms as usual last year, the strength of those storms was very devastating. Hurricane Ian alone resulted in more than $112 billion in damages and at least 150 fatalities as a Category 4 hurricane in southwest Florida after making impact. It was the third most expensive storm in American history and the costliest hurricane in Florida history.